I'm Mark DeRosa. Storm between the Kansas City Royals and the Oakland A's. It's A's baseball coming up next. Chris Bassett gets handed the ball for the fourth and final game of the series. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, in his last start, he picked up his ninth win of the season. It's always nice to get into double digits, and nothing he'd like to do more than to pitch well in this one and pick up his tenth Leading victory off the of the afternoon year. For Stepping Kansas up City, is Adalberto Mondesi. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Mondesi. Underway now in the that Sunday man, finale as the game's first pitch is taken one for ball, ball one. Track. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon, have got to be considered one of, if not the hottest first team pitch. in baseball one right seven. now. Winners of eight of their last ten ball games. Yeah, Matty B. Hey, Dero, well, look at a team that's playing some pretty good baseball no, no, no. right now. Through the first five games of this homestand, four and one, and looking for some bigger and better things. Yeah, we had a chance to sit down before the game after BP with the manager. He was really pleased with the way his team has played in these last five. Let's see if it continues today. A two and one count two to the leadoff count. hitter for Kansas City. off to begin the afternoon as it's to three and one now he's only four pitches in but he doesn't look too sharp to start the day off and that is in there at the letters to run it full three and two hey it looks like this guy's gonna work in the upper part of the strike zone It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches 3-2 pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. And now the A's will have to deal with a threat to run from the get-go. Tip your cap if you're the pitcher right there. Yeah. That was a great battle. A couple of tough pitches. Yeah. Offensive player able yeah. to work himself deep into the count. Pitcher on the attack. The chalk one up for the offense on that. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. As the first pitch years have been high, it's ball one. One oh. Two and oh. This is why I love having athleticism and speed on your team. You can tell the runner on first base is certainly messing with the mechanics of the pitcher. Two and one after the foul ball there. Mondesi on at first. Nobody out. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. This is line to left, and that'll get down for a base hit. Hey, they're seeing this pitcher well right now. They were obviously third. paying attention the in the hitters' base. meeting. He's With found a barrel to the first two guys to start this game. Now he's got to worry about the middle of the order. With Merrifield next to bat. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. that's low 2 and 0. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. None out. Runners at first and second. Late swing on the hitter's count. Still a good count for him now, however, at 2 and 1.
from the belt. Kicks and deals. Multiple pitches were fouled off. It gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Fouled off. Ground ball to second. This could be two. Reined in. Andrews on the first, but not in time as he beats it out. That, that was cool. kind of a high degree of difficulty field. play that time. You see Jorge the off-balance throw to second Soler. base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. In is Jorge Soler. As he'll get caught chasing the bat from there at strike one. He'll enter play with that batting average still shy of the 220 mark. Nine homers and 33 driven in. Swing and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0 and 2. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Runners are at first and third, one away. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Fouled away. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. Two strike deliveries in the dirt. One and two now. left side but it's well fouled. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Two and two to Jorge Soler. Boy not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher right. You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game but that's a quality at bat and what does it make you do as a pitcher. You have to use a lot of your pitches and the more pitches a hitter sees better chance they have to make good contact. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. The run is in to score and they take an early 1-0 lead. That Great hit. job there by the this catcher, power hitter. 13, Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the yeah. job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Salvador Perez is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. His prior history versus this arm, he's 0 for 8. Before the 0 1, he'll he's check on first. And he just manages to get his hand in. As a look, now the pitch. Yeah. Called strike 0 and 2. Make a good pitch right here and get your offense back in the dugout after only giving up one run. Working for the punch out and the offering. That's a ball. Sinker misses and it's 1 and 2 now. Two out with the man at first. Able to protect the plate with two strikes and you'll see another one. Here he comes 
Rangers again, 1-2. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it, you know it. Keep executing, maybe get him to roll something over. Runners off for second. Here's a swing and a ground ball. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. A little two out lightning could turn that into exists. something big right here. The first base. With the runner being in motion. Oh, yeah. Batter finds it out. Now we got first and third and bad. So now Carlos Santana. And he'll take a look at ball one. This is exactly the situation you drew up from an offensive standpoint. Good pitcher on the mound, but you got a chance to bury him early in this one. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. In, and now he's in a one and two hole. Too much no. dip oh. on the sinker, laid off for a ball. The two two pitch. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Royals settle for just the one. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Royals one. The A's coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Mike Miner will be on the mound for game four. Dan Plezak, what do you got? One of the things that jumps out if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job Keep traffic off the bases. Keep the walks down. Try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough go of that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. No and left stepping in, Tyler Ramirez. It lead things off here. Oh, the bottom here right. the first. Get down the way. Kansas City Royals entering play this afternoon, guys. They've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. Yeah, Maddie, this series has been a little bit of back and forth, dropping the first one, finding a way to battle back, and then dropping the third one in this four-game set. Let's see if nope. they can find a way to tie this rubber game. You know, Dero, this is one of those, if you could win game four of this series and walk away with a split, you almost feel like you won this series. This is a big one here today. 1-1 one, one. is taken two, for ball one. two. Get hard back up the middle. And this is going to get on through in the center, a leadoff hit. Hey, Giro, this looks like it could be a high-scoring affair. Home team comes up now, and they've got that some good. brewing in the bottom of the first. That was good. So many times you put that leadoff batter on base, that spells disaster for the pitcher. You don't know, you can work with bunt, hit and run, steal. Oh, I forgot. They don't bunt for a hit and run. Here's Elvis Andrus now. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. In his career against Mike Miner, he's 0 for 5. Here it comes, 1 and 0. Yeah. 
Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, you know, d -Row, the book kind of on Earl Hendricks is he likes one side of the plate or the other. Could it be where he sets up behind the catcher? It could be, Dan, but as a hitter, that's all you look for. You get, I'll, I'll give you a little bit off the outside edge if you're going to be consistent with it. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Throw over to first. Oh. And he'll be back in standing up. Good fastball down around the knees there, one taken count. for a strike. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way. And you have to. There's Merrifield to Santana to get the double play. Batting third. Time now for a glance at Bob Melvin's A's starting lineup. Mark, daytime baseball at home. What do we need to know about these guys? Well, Matty, the one thing that jumps off the page at me is the fact that this team leads the league in doubles, putting themselves in scoring position time and time again. Instead of having to get a few knocks, one base hit gets you right back in the ballgame. This offense creates a lot of opportunities. First delivery to him. Brandon Jordan is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. Hey, they say solos won't kill us, but I got to believe this guy's looking to do exactly that. And a pitch in the dirt one as he one. lays off. It's one and one. The bases are empty here with two men out. A ball and two strikes now. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. The only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another change. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. A's go quietly there. They're down 1-0. So stepping in is Ryan McBroom. Off with and you see that average the below hitter. the dreaded Mendoza Ryan line. McBroom. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. This one's oh, outside. That's outside. Quite a bit off the plate that time. Swung on and missed. Oh, one and one. Strike. Here's the pitch. Ball, low. Popped up. Chapman has a play. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gun. That again. The center All right, guys, here's how the Oakland A's are lining up defensively. And I'm locking in on Matt Chapman. Without a doubt, one of the premier defenders in our sport. You know what? He's often compared to his former high school teammate. Bet people didn't know Nolan Arenado and him shared dugouts in high school. He's going to be at the top of the leaderboard this year. Defensive run save. Lock in on him. He's going to make a backhand. Well, Nick Keith comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. He enters here right at the 290 mark. One home run, nine driven in. The pitch. A swing and a ground ball to third. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Batting none. The third baseman, number eight, Nicky Lopez. So here is Nicky Lopez, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. 
hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. First pitch on its way. Inner third let go. It's a called strike. Hit out to a second. Fielded cleanly. Go on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Royals one, and the A's nothing. Now to the plate, Vimael Mashi. Entering this one, he ranks number yes, 10 in American League batting the second average. Baseman. There's a lot of ways to get on base. Base hit, walk, oh, hit by pitch. This guy's in the top five on base percentage. He does a little bit of all of those things. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh. Great job of doubling up with a fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. Two and nope, one. Ball. Two balls, one strike. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Three and goal. two now. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Now a little looper down the left field line, and that's in there. Base hit. Throwing to second, and that is where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a that is hustle good. double. The third and baseman. That swing looked like Matt. self defense than a real ball swing, but hey, he muscled it out there. And it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Ball one to start the at bat. His average sits at 296 in on the play. 21 homers. 51 runs banded in. The 1 0 home. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they were pulled the out. That hey guys, six. take a look at how Kansas City sets up on D. The guy I want to focus on is outfielder Andrew Benatendi. Also a hybrid type outfielder, forced to move to a corner in Boston with the likes of Jackie Bradley Jr. and Mookie Betts out there. But a guy who can play center with a strong, accurate arm, and we know he can roll the ball. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Oh, one. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off-speed pitch for strike one. One out and a runner on third. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. That's not some bad pitching right there. You're two pitches down, but you have a runner on third, and you know this hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can hit in the air for a sacrifice fly. Set and the 1 1 pitch. Hard hit to first. Glove by Santana, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out. But meanwhile, the run is in the score. Good manufactured run right there. Mark. Lead off double, move Can him over with the ground ball, and just put the ball in play and let him come home. Make scoring runs look easier than it actually is. So now it's Mark Canna has two hits in 11 trips for the series so far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Hey. Fastball in there for a called strike. Two out, nobody on. Strike two as the fastball is let go. You know that nasty changeup's lurking right here. If I'm in the batter's box, I have to tell myself to stay back. 
I have to take pole side out of the equation, or that changeup's going to beat me. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Hard hit toward the hole. Dive and he knocks it down. And the Ricardo will not be in time at first, and the will continue following the infield single. Batting it, the designated hitter. Steve so that'll bring up Steven Piscotti. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. In his career against Mike Miner, two hits in seven tries. He's taken him deep once. One and no pitch on the way. Kenna leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Two. A ball and two strikes now. Hit on the ground out to short. Or the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Two hits lead to a run here for Oakland. We play two full, all tied at one and one. Top of the third set to get underway, and stepping in will be the very fleet footed Alberto Mondesi. Alberto. Mondesi. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt, the first pitch. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. Oh, Ooh, no spot you expect a curveball. He's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark. Will right back up the middle, and Andrews will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the now count is, they're looking to the line up, drive the Andrew. ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. In the dirt here. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Wow, one pitch ago he had only given up a single, but that wild pitch, that single essentially turns into a double. Those kind of things can absolutely kill you. A runner at second, nobody out. Two balls and no strikes to the Kansas City left fielder. That's where he wants that sinker to end up. But that was a nice job of laying off. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And it's a productive first out as that runner is able to advance 90 feet up to third here. Up next to the Royals. The second baseman with Merrifield. Now a man at third with one away, and with Merrifield will dig in at the plate. First delivery to him. Right. Sinker on the inside, and that's a strike. A man at third with one away. front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. On its way the 0-2 pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Second. Uh, this is going to be called in out there at second base for out number two. 
the right field, number 12, Jorge Soler. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. Hit it hard, but lined out in his first at bat. This is when you start to lose your mind a little bit. You know you're in a slump as you walk to the plate. You finally do something good and barrel something up, and it's right at somebody. Sharp ground ball to third. Throw in time, and the side is returned. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three, all tied at one and one. Played is Sean Murphy. Yeah, and as you can see, he's had some catcher. troubles here in his own ballpark. Something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Here's the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Tries oh. to shave the corner with that pitch, one, but one. it's one and one. Hit on the ground toward the left. Scooped up. Throw on the first hey. in time, one away. The left fielder, number 31, Tyler Ramirez. So the Oakland lineup turns over and to the plate, Tyler Ramirez. He collected a base hit his first time up. Now here's the pitch. One out, nobody on. And this misses uh -huh. the outside oh. corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One and one. It's two and one That's to the ball. A's leadoff batter. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. A swing and a high drive to right center field. So they're going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. The batter, the shortstop, Elvis Andrew. That was textbook outfield technique right there. So take notes, kids. He knew right where he was, and he does a great job of feeling for the wall while keeping his eyes on the ball. That's how you do it, and he makes the catch. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here it comes now to Andres. Big swing at the knuckle curve. Gets nothing but air. 0 and 2 now. Bases are empty here with two men out. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. A shortstop behind with a 1 and 2 count. Now a fastball taken outside here as it moves it to 2 and 2 now. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions to be going. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. Boy, there's another base hit. This is just kind of like that gift now that just keeps on right giving. Field. He rolled both teams Brandon. piling up the hits, Jordan. and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitcher's meeting today. Good plan at the plate. A lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. At the plate, Brandon Jordan. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 0 1 pitch. Now a fastball off the plate away. A ball and a strike. One strike.
change up just off the black, and it's two and one. From the stretch. Fastball catches the black there for a called strike. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. 2-2. Uh, two -two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And it's fouled away. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1-1 ball game. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Here's another 2-2. Line drive to center field. Keith will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. The A's strand one through three complete, all tied one apiece. And now here is Salvador Perez. He singled first time up. Yeah, guys, everyone knows he's been slumping. Dan, you can certainly attest to this. Only amassing a solid one hit in your entire career. The pressure's off now. Maybe he gets hot. First delivery to him. Now the 0-1. Winging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Pitch on the way. Ball. Good sinker there, gets him swinging for the first down. Time now for the A's road to the Up show report the board. as we get a look at a couple the of guys baseman. making some noise in Carlos. the upper levels of the minors. Santana. Here's Carlos Santana now. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. That finds the zone a cold strike. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. He'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. The bat, number nine. So with two gone here in the fourth, let's hitter. check out our pitch Ryan speed comparison for the McBrew. two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s, 95 on one hand, and just two miles an hour slower on the other. 
So next to the plate for the Royals, Ryan McBroom, he popped out in his first trip. Yeah, pretty impressive if you ask me. So many times you beat a sinker into the ground, you end up grounding out the third. You're running down to first base, and you're so upset at yourself. At least oh, he got under the thing. He knows his bat plane is pretty decent. Now the 1-0. Here's a ball swung on and hit high and deep down the left field line. And this will stay fair. Home run. So a solo shot down the line in left. Home run number nine on the year. And the Royals have taken the lead. It's two to one. Hey, I know we're not sitting up here with a crystal ball, but that swing right there, although in the middle innings, could be the deciding factor. And we could be looking back at this one when it's all said and done. The center fielder. Next to bat will be Nick Heath. Heath. So watch a sinker here that misses. It's ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. One ball, one strike to count. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. That, that one miss. misses badly. It's ball two. Two runs, five hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Two and two. two, ball, two in strikes. my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Murphy recovers. No chance to get him, and he'll take first after striking out. So they'll slap an the error on the catcher the there, and you can tell Mickey. he's not happy Lopez. back there. Next to hit is Nicky Lopez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Looks like a right-hander's gotten up to throw now in the Oakland pen. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. on the way. Finds the zone strike one. The 2 1 home. No, that missed. That's the ball. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming balls, unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. Ball to strike and it's full three and two. Got a good out. spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. He's under it and that ends the inning. But a run for the Royals here in the inning and it came on this home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up, and the Royals have taken a two to one lead. So here's the Oakland cleanup batter, Yumael Marshall. He doubled his last time. Base. And he's got a build off that yeah. last AP. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rod. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in. Last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right now. Now batting, third baseman, Matt Chapman. Next up is Matt Chapman. First pitch of the AB on its way. Oh. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. 
they won't get him to chase the curveball in the dirt that time, and it's 2 0 now. Outside, 3 0 now. Well, of all the guys in this lineup, he's definitely the guy I'd be cautious with, especially with the one run lead. No surprise that he's treading lightly right here. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Full count now, three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Okay. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Well, the reason power hitters generally now, draw more walks First than other guys is exactly Man. what we saw right there. Pitchers oh, work sir. around them and nibble the corners a lot more so they don't get burned. He made some good pitches, but he just couldn't get him to chase him up out of his own. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's 1 and 1. The Royals get some action in the bullpen going now as a left hander starts to throw. One and two now. I'm absolutely shocked he took that pitch right there. Right in the wheelhouse, low 90s heater. That's one you've got to let go on. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. So they're going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Up next to Oakland, the center fielder. Mark. Digging in next, Mark Canna. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. One left for Oakland. They're down 2-1. Lou Trevino, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over now on the mound. For the A's. Number 62, Lou. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop, the shortstop. Adalberto Mondesi. Adalberto Mondesi. First pitch on the way. Nope, that's outside. One zero -oh. is taken. Strike one. Now the one and one pitch. Count is one and two now. Now here it comes. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Andrew Benintendi will be next. Full count still. And he 
takes strike three called on the fastball. One gone. So now bases are empty with one out now. Here. And up next, Andrew. the exciting left-handed bat Benintendi. of Andrew Benintendi. Now the first pitch. Right. And a fastball's in there for strike one. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Sets one the target more. low here and it misses one and one. Swing and a ball line softly down the right field line. But a foul ball, one and two now. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. This has not been a weekend now to remember for him. Second he's just been completely with lost at the plate, Merrick. flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They really got him. With Merrifield next to him, he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. No hits to this point. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Oh. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Merrifield behind a ball and two strikes. One and two. Out. And he'll lay off two the curveball ball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. A full count, count, three balls and two strikes. Jorge Soler would be next. Here's the 3 2 from him. Bouncer up the middle. And Andrews will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting by your three hole guy right there. First two guys, not so now much. Bad. Now they bring up the, the right monster field. in the four hole with two They have a chance Soler. to make a nice hitting on this. Next up, Jorge Soler. He gets a shot to hit here in the inning following the two out single. Yeah, that hit might not amount to much, but any time you can extend an inning and give a guy with plenty of pop a chance to swing it, the outlook of an inning changes dramatically. And now the first pitch. Pitch out. One ball. Nothing first doing. Ball. Merrifield is off of first with two away. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back in. The 1 0. That bit, that's the ball. And oh now. If I'm managing this hitter right here, he doesn't even have to look down at the third base coach. You know he's got the green light. He's one of the best hitters in your lineup. Ready with the 3-0 pitch. Good. 
Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for Three a strike. And no strike. Prior history in this matchup. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. He did not want to let the hitter off the hook with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Salvador Perez. So the next to bat will be Salvador Perez. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this one-run game the yeah. pitch. After the walk and with runners on the bags, he couldn't afford to fall behind here. Nice job of jumping ahead with strike one. Two down, runners at first and second. Well above one. the letters with the fastball that time. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Sinker misses oh, that down. time, and it's 2-1. and one. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Three oh, and down. one. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Three and one, here it is. Right side, reined in. On the first, and the Royals can't cash in as the inning is over. Royals strand a pair that they're unable to add to their two to one lead. For the last half of the Here inning, go. And the in is the veteran the designated DH, hitter, Stephen Piscotti. Stephen Piscotti, ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Fastball oh. just misses. That's ball one. in the air down the right field line. Solaire is there. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Now batting. The catcher. Sean Murphy. In at the plate is Sean Murphy. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the first pitch. Look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. The left fielder, number 31, Tyler Ramirez. Into the box, Tyler Ramirez. As he takes a bold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. A hit and two tries for him so far. Wind up and the 0-1. He pulls this one into right. That gets down and the inning will continue. So that's a pair of hits for him now this afternoon as he lines that one sharply now into that. right. And that's a good time to check out our A's Elvis. leaderboard. And it shows that he currently ranks third on the squad in that department. Into the box now, Elvis uh -huh. Andrews. She'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0 1. And now they've got him picked off. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Nothing doing there for the A's. They still trail it here 2 to 1.
Now at the plate, here is Carlos Santana in his Leading career versus City. this pitcher. The first Just a couple of matchups, no Carlos hits in two at bats. Santana. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. One and one. one, and one. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Santana waiting on a 1 1. High in the air out to center field. He's right there, one down. The batter, number nine, designated hitter, Ryan McBroom. Ryan McBroom will stride it again, and you can bet he'd love to do again what he did back in the fourth. Solo home run here that's been the only long ball of the game so far. First pitch on its way. And he plays off there 1 0. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. And there's a fastball inside as the count moves to 2 0 now. Low and the three plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Nick Keith will be next. Three and O oh pitch on its way. Yeah. He must know three something points. we don't know. That was a center cut heater with count leverage in a big spot. I don't understand why he's taking. Bases are empty, one man out. Three and two to the Royals' designated hitter. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole the strike. Now the payoff pitch home. Swung on and missed. He got him. Not too often you see the bat go from 3 0 to the strikeout, so now that's a pretty good seven job seven on the mound right there. Kind of nice that he got a free Keith. strike on the 3 0 take, but he still had to put it in the zone. To the plate now, Nick Keith. And the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. Hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. Royals go down 1-2-3. They still lead it 2-1. to one. Your Jesse attention, Hahn please. enters to do the pitching now, in the bottom of the Royals. sixth. Number 32. Jesse. Oh.
striding in for Oakland. Elvis Andrews. The athletic. Lifetime against Not Jesse Pond. Just a Elvis. two for 14 line. So Andrews. Pitcher here. First pitch on the way. And starting with a fastball down and in for a ball. 1-0. Here's a fastball low, and he's behind 2-0. 2-0. Outside, 3-0 now. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning, you've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. That's in there, 3-1. Good now pitch right there to run the, the white field. in on his hands Brandon. and bunch him up. Sure and an easy ground ball is the result. At the plate now, Brandon Jordan. Drilled on the ground is short. Madison plays it in. And there are two away now. Now that second baseman, Vimael. Next up for the A's, Vimael Mashin. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Here's the pitch. And he fouls this one off. One run, five hits, and one error on the Oakland line score. Third ball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. One, two, three, go the A's. Our score remains two to one. Your Adam Kolari please. is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning right. number seven. Number 21, Adam Kolari. Into the box, Nicky Lopez. He'll lead off here as we begin inning number seven. Baseman, number eight, Nicky Lopez. First pitch coming, here it is. No, that's down. You know, because this is just a one run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. One ball on a strike. great pitch there, caught him reaching. It's one and one. You got to be paying attention as an offense in the hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. One and one, here it comes. Fouled off. The one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter the field. Strike, I'll tell you. Now that one run game, the especially this late, the first guy in the game Monday. is so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning. So that is a big out. In now, Adalberto Mondesi. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0 1. So far, 2 for 3 in this one. Another one sent foul. Weak roller right side. And that's the second out. 
the bat, the left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. Next to dig in, Andrew Benintendi. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. First pitch of the A.B. now. Hit to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Casey down in order. They lead it 2-1. to one. Seventh inning stretch. Ladies Brad and gentlemen, Rock your take over on the mound to start the bottom now of the seventh. Now for Kansas City, number 31, Brad Rock. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll give way to the third yes, baseman, Matt Chapman. The third oh, baseman, only down one Matt. right here, but the exploding Chapman. stuff that's coming out of the back end of a lot of teams' bullpens. I mean, just north of 95 plus. Stuff diving all over the plate. It's gotten a lot tougher to scratch across runs against these no teams. Ball. One ball, no strikes to count. Hit down the third base line. The first baseman, Matt Olsen. Now at the plate, Matt Olsen. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. The seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel, two to one our score. Not surprisingly, here this is on the ground to the right side. Throw gets him to them. Now batting, center fielder, Mark Canna. Next, it'll be Mark Canna flew out last time up. First offering, lofted in the air out to right field. Solaire is there, and the inning is over. A's are gone in order. They're down 2-1. Jamie Wendelkin has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do athletic. so to start the eighth. Number 57, J.B. And now, Rick Merrifield, lifetime against this particular arm. Not a big Leading sample size, 0 for 1. The second baseman, with Merrifield. First pitch on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ramirez is underneath this one. And very quickly, one gone. The right fielder, number 12. Jorge Soler. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. He hit a sack fly earlier. Now the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0 and 1. Your ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. And it's fouled away. A pause and the 0-2. And this is swung out. Missed two are quickly retired to start any number eight. So now here is Salvador Perez. First offering on its way. No, that's it. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Yeah. 
swing and a miss one and one. one. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Now the one and one pitch. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first. And no swing. The 2 1 home. Ball. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Two out, nobody on. And struck him out. So he's got on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Royals go down one, two, three. As they're unable to add to their two to one lead. Your Greg attention, Holland please. Is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the bottom half city. of the eighth. Number 35, Greg Holland. Now the A's designated hitter, Steve Scotty. He'll get things the started now in the hitter. bottom of inning number Keep eight. Scotty. Set and the pitch. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hit in the air down the left field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Ball strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is. Now batting. It's true. Catcher. So in the eighth inning of a run game, that's a really nice Murphy. job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. Stepping in now, Sean Murphy. As he gets a good curveball here to start the at-bat, it's strike one. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Misses no. with it, one and one. Bases are empty, one man in. And that two misses, and two and one. Here's the pitch. Too high oh. that time, and it's three and one. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Now the three and two pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. The left That's field, back number to back 31. He's making it Tyler. look pretty easy. This has the makings Rob of a good Mirren. outing so far. In 
into the box, Tyler Ramirez. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. The 1-0. Count even now of one and one. Now here's the pitch. Pitch is popped up. And no one will track it down. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he fouls this one off. And well Here off the two. plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Bullet back up the middle. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. One, two, three go the A's. They still trail it here, two to one. Miguel Romero comes on to work please. now, and he's their usual now closer, but this is obviously not a safe Number opportunity. 19. Yeah, and this Miguel. is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance Leading to pitch in a real City. game situation here. Carlos Santana. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Carlos Santana is in to no start one. things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. Now the 0-1. It's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Standing in now, Ryan McBroom. Oh, yeah. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set and the 0-1. Oh. Swinging strike and now it's 0-2. This batter's got to be in his head right here. This is where you need to regroup. Fastball in, now change up down the way. This is the cat and mouse that I love about the game. On its way, the 0-2 pitch. 1-2. One, One run game here in the top of the ninth. Two punch outs to begin the outing out of the pen. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, that's the advantage of getting any count. You can really yeah. force hitters to hmm. expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting him to go after a pitch that can't do much with becomes a lot easier. To the plate now, Nick Heath fouled off. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0 and 2 now. I'm sure every pitcher on the staff could use an extra run right here. I know the bases are empty and there's two outs, but stay on the attack. One ball Get a guy three. on first base. You never know. You get something going and string a few across. Two out, nobody on. Now oh. a 
fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Your Scott attention, Marlo. please. If the man called on to close this Royals. one and earn a save in Number the Number 58, Scott Barlow. Now to the plate, here is Elvis Andrews the for his career in Not this matchup. Stop. Just a couple Elvis. of matchups, no hits in two outs. on that swing as it's well wide at first. Swing and a miss and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead. Now batting. Oh right fielder. And start working Brandon. outside the zone. You're Easier there. said than done but that's the way to do it. At the plate, Brandon Jordan. Yes, he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Fastball well outside. Straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. The one, two. Misses for the second ball. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and missed strike three. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end the up battle. as a manager. The two second hitters, baseman. two strikeouts. Three by the closer. There's not a whole lot Mashi. more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. In now, Vimael Mashi. Now a swing and a ground ball. This should do it. Throw on the first will be in time to get him. And the Royals bounce back here to take the finale and earn a split of this four-game series as this one is over. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. The Royals took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Mike Miner earns win number four on the season. Chris Bassett was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Scott Barlow wraps it up for the save, his 12th of the season. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com.